I'm sorry, you assume this is going to be the last day of Vita. Good evening, Internet. Today's the last day of Vita. I no longer need to vlog every day, yes! I know it's a self-imposed challenge, and I didn't technically have to to begin with, but... Oh, for those of you that don't actually know, Vita stands for Vlog Every Day in April. So that's the way reason why this is the last day, because this is the last day in April. I know, that's very creative naming here. So I kind of wanted to talk today and do basically an overview slash review of my vlogs in April. This Vita worked out quite a bit better than the previous one. I was not very good at recording YouTube videos, let's be honest here. I had incredibly craptastic lighting. My initial recordings, I didn't even have a tripod. Do you realize that I did not have a tripod? I actually strapped my camera with rubber bands. I strapped it to a piece of plastic that was used for like office organization purposes and sat it on my kitchen table. And then I sat down and talked. That's bad. Especially since I was living in an apartment at the time, which had terrible lighting no matter where I was at. The lighting in this area is far better, as you can tell. I actually have, let's see, um, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of my setup. Give me a moment. So, I actually have one light facing a wall. This gives me a decent amount of diffused lighting. This is just a standard office light, but it's a full spectrum light. I also have the squid light over here, which is going to look a little weird. There we go. The squid light here, it gives me a fairly large amount of light. Unfortunately, it's, it adds a lot of shadows, so it doesn't work the greatest, but it's a lot better than having nothing, which is what I started this month's Vita with. There we go. Also, this camera. Holy crap, this camera is so much better to vlog with than what I was using before, which, well is right here. This is my cell phone. This is actually what I was vlogging with. The cell phone works for being portable, and this camera is actually very portable too. It fits in one of the pockets of my backpack pretty easily. It's a rather small camcorder, but it's the fact that it's a camcorder. This is meant to record videos. This is not a cell phone that happens to take pictures that also happens to record videos or anything like that. The audio is substantially clearer. I can use an actual microphone if I want to. Eh, I need a better mic, I think. And that's something that I would like to pick up is like a lapel mic or something like that to make my words a little more clear. What I did well and want to do more of next time. Okay, let's go ahead and address the 500 pound gorilla in the room. My review of my laptop was by far the most popular video I've ever done. Holy crap. I get more hits per day. Per day. Not just any one day. No. Per day, I get more hits on that video than I got on my second most popular video total. Or, for that matter, any two of my other videos combined total. That is ridiculously popular. Apparently, I'm halfway decent at, record at reviewing hardware. That's awesome. I would love to be able to review hardware for a living. Unfortunately, I can't afford it. If you're listening to Engadget or NN Tech or... Ars Technica, I would love to work for you. What I think I'm going to do as a result of that is review every piece of computing hardware that I buy. So I do buy a halfway decent selection of computing hardware, and so I have a new heatsink and fan that I'm actually going to be installing tomorrow morning. I could do a review on that. It's probably not the most interesting thing in the world, but it's at least informative and pretty quick of a review given that there's not much to it. Unfortunately, I'm not as knowledgeable about things like my cell phone or the camcorder that I'm recording this on. So my reviews of those devices didn't do as well. One, because, well, the Nexus 5 had been out for quite some time at this point, so there's been a lot of reviews for the Nexus 5, as opposed to my laptop, where it hadn't been out for very long, and apparently, for some people, I was on the front page of YouTube. I mean, I'm still not getting thousands of hits or anything like that. As of the last time I looked, I had 919 hits on the laptop video, which is about 900 more than I was expecting. The phone review, nowhere near as many hits. I think that's because I wasn't able to express expertise anywhere near as easily. Yes, I'm a decent enough person at dealing with smartphones, but it's not my area of interest. It's not my area of expertise. Computers, on the other hand, oh yeah, I can handle desktops. I would love to be able to review servers for that matter. That's actually my, I, I work as a Windows Server Administrator, so that's an area that I would love to do. My ideal job would actually be reviewing professional grade and enterprise grade equipment, because that's what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, and there's kind of a lack of good reviewing on such things, and that's a problem in my mind. What would I not do? Well, I've noticed that my more, shall we say, content-free vlogs have not gone very well. So I even have one vlog of this past Vita that only has four hits. So the content-free vlogs not going so well, which 
I wouldn't expect content free vlogs to do much. Most people, if they want to watch something, would want to watch something that's interesting. I think I'll also try to have a more regular schedule the next time I do this. So I actually went into this trying to have a regular schedule. That's the reason why I was mentioning things like I'll have a device review next week or stuff like that, which never ended up happening because real life. And I'm terrible at actually keeping with vlog ideas. I start working on something and go, this vlog's stupid. Blah! and then try something else. As a result, my schedule that I had initially planned in my mind didn't work out at all. I was initially planning, for instance, to have a review every Wednesday of random pieces of hardware or gadgets or things like that. I was planning on having a video game object of some variety every Saturday, a long-form vlog every Sunday where I was walking about talking. Um, every Thursday I was planning on having a kitten break Every Friday, I was planning on having just thoughts from me being really sleepy. You, you get the idea. I was planning on having an actual set schedule, and I think that's a good idea. I just don't know how to properly implement it yet. Perhaps another time I'll figure that out. My Let's Play. So, while technically not a part of my vlog, I am going to finish the Let's Play of Beyond the Beyond, by the way. There's no reason for me not to. I really like doing them, even though they are the least watched things that I do. Um... I believe my Let's Plays, the median number of hits is two. That would be myself and one person. Because I do actually watch all of my videos. Lots and lots of times, actually. But at the same time, they're fun. They're a lot of fun for me to do. They're so much easier than these. That's the reason why you might see me upload four Let's Plays in one day. And yes, that is me playing a video game for roughly three and a half hours, but I don't need to edit. Holy crap, does that make things so much easier. But at the same time, I do need to edit these vlogs. Um, doing my vlogging this time and looking back on my last year's vlogs or even last October's vlogs, oh, those were terrible. Editing has so increased the quality of my vlogs, and while it takes up a gargantuan amount of time, it's totally worth it. So I'm going to keep doing that. Finally, I'm going to keep vlogging. So... My general plan is that I'm going to try to vlog every Saturday and every other Wednesday. I'm going to keep doing my Let's Plays. In fact, if you have any ideas for other games that you might want to see me play through, preferably ones that are not super long so I don't lose everybody's interest, post wherever you see this. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, LiveJournal, YouTube for that matter, Google+. Anybody actually use Google Plus? Um, wherever you see this, with ideas as to what you want me to play through, whether they're games I've never played, play, games that I've played lots of times, games that I've played a few times, doesn't really matter, just ideas. That would be rather nice. I'd like to continue doing Let's Plays of various games. Saturdays, I think I'll do some type of weekly vlog where I just talk about random topics, kind of like what these vlogs have been. Um, and then every other Wednesday, do something a little special. Also, doing device reviews. Whenever I get a new shiny device, which is apparently somewhat frequent, as I've noticed, I will do a review of it. Maybe people will like it, maybe people won't. That's fine, but it's at least useful. Thank you for watching all of these vlogs, by the way. I really appreciate the fact that people do watch these and actually interact with me and tell me what they liked and what they didn't like about these things. Good night, Internet, and I will see you... Sometime. I'm probably not going to vlog tomorrow. Probably. Keyword. See you this weekend. I already tend to slur my lurd. Ah, slur my lurds. That's a new one.